Hello, I'm just making a new texture here, 512 by 512. Uh, just pick some green color for some grass. Uh, do clouds. Want a little noise and some texture on here. Uh, just an important thing here is we just need something to grab our, our grass uh, base colors from so it blends nicely in the engine. A little fancy here. All right, I'm just going to save this as a uh, PNG, throwing it in my uh, terrains texture folder. All right, uh, next up here, I'm going to uh, 512 by 256 height. Uh, going to take the darker color and just paint a couple of strokes for grass here. Uh, just using a small brush. And you can be as uh, detailed or simple as you want here. doesn't really matter. Just some lines over a transparent background. When we save as a uh, PNG file, that transparent background will automatically become the alpha. And this I'm going to put in the environments folder. Uh, just That's because we're Garage Games has already stored all their their grass files and seems like a nice place to keep things organized. All right, uh, now we're going to switch over back to our grass texture. Uh, I'm going to desaturate this and run a high pass filter on it. Uh, this is going to be used for the detailed map. Uh, for this tutorial, I actually didn't end up using this particular detail map, but this sh should show you. Uh, the basics on how to create one. Uh, the more level the uh, black and white, uh, the more saturated or desaturated your colors will be uh, when you get up close to the grass and the terrain. All right, so what I'm doing here is uh, <coughs> creating a new ground cover. You'll see we got our nice no no material warning. And so we're just going to make a new material. Go to the material editor. Uh, give it a give it a name of some sort. And we'll just select our uh, recently drawn grass file. Now we're going to uh, change the transparency information. Uh, I like to use about 150, 154. Uh, that seems to work well for me. Uh, I apologize, you can kind of barely see it right now, but it'll become more apparent here when we double its numbers. And here I'm just pointing out a bug that I've noticed, uh, Torque 1.1 Beta 3. Uh, for some reason, when you rename a material, go in that direction, uh, it doesn't take. So you have to go in back into the material editor and make a new material from there. Uh, so here I'm setting the radius and the dissolve radius to some low numbers, 80 for the radius, 60 for the dissolve radius. Uh, that means uh, my grass is going to only go out about 80 torque units, and it's going to start dissolving at 6, so it's going to start fading away. Uh, and I like these values because uh, it lets you uh, cram in a bunch of grass uh, without killing performance. Uh, as you can see here, uh, I up that the at uh, that max amount quite a bit so we can get a nice coverage of grass and because it's the same base color as our terrain you'll see it blends in very nicely uh, and here I'm just going to show you how you can stack more than one ground cover uh, for some really neat effects so I'd already made some flowers uh, earlier and you'll see when I give them a similar value here 80 by 60 here pops up quite nicely. And then trying some different number values. See, I think that's just too many. So I'll bring that back down. Alright, uh, now you'll notice we've got a problem here. Uh, on places that aren't grass, we have grass appearing. So we're going to use the, uh, the layers uh, to say, hey, I only want my grass to grow on the grass. That's a really awesome feature.
So you can literally paint grass with the Terrain Painter tool uh, using this technique here. I'm going to do the same thing for the flowers. Uh, and I'll just show you, you can invert it as well. Uh, so the gra or the flowers will only grow in the dirt. But we don't want that. Let's go back. So now, uh, showing you, you can change the wind gust settings and the wind strength here. Uh, just if you feel the grass is swaying a little too intensely. Uh, see here, this value, almost no sway whatsoever. Uh, so let's bring that back up just a little bit. Here's the default value again. You can see how crazy it is. And then bring that, bring that down a little bit. Let's see, there we go. I like that. Okay, uh, don't forget to save. Uh, and save often. Uh, and good luck. Okay, here I'm just demonstrating uh, uh, a more fleshed out environment using uh, the same exact same grass techniques. Uh, here I've got three different ground covers. Uh, one for green grass, one for the flowers, and one for a, a more brown grass, uh, just to give it a little bit of, of pop and zest. Uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful for somebody. Uh, good luck.